this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. All right, well, we got a lot of stuff to do today, so let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? Man, these go by kind of fast. Let's appreciate that intro song a little bit longer. All right, let's go now. Here we are, back again. What's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm sorry, I shouldn't address you so casually. Yeah, welcome to the thing. I've had a pretty chill day. I'm teeter-tottering between making this a talking one or a watching one. Well, I just got a comment. Um, apparently I left the outro music in one of my videos. Whoops. Bonus points if you know which one it is. Yeah, no, that's not permanent. That was a mistake. That was a mistake, too. No, I think we're probably gonna watch a video today, because I kinda just wanna get into the practice. I've been talking all day. Let's make this quick. I'll see you in the piano bench. I can't believe I left out the outro music. Hey guys, make it to the end of this video. Did I put outro music for this one? I'm just happy that somebody watches to the outro. That's kinda nice. Believe it or not, this is a one-man operation, so mistakes happen. It's actually, at least mistakes like that, I feel like don't happen that often. I'd like everybody to just kind of appreciate that. I'm a focused guy. I don't play around. I'm gonna start with Morel Movement 2, and then I'm gonna look at Julia Florida. That'll probably be enough for today. And then all my usual stuff too, like Movements 1 and 3. Lamentos Tomorrow is a piece that I knew how to play at one point. I'm just kidding, I can still play it. I haven't looked at it in a while though. And that's a piece that deserves to be looked at. That's not a piece that I should just play passively, because I am not doing everything I can be with it. But you know, part of this whole thing is just gathering more and more music and putting it together. And I'm sure I'll come back to it. Maybe after Julia Florida. I've been enjoying that. It's time for me to hop to it, so I will see you on the other side. I think I'm about ready to call it a night. So, why don't I bring you closer? Yeah, I kind of worked on a lot of old stuff. Or I mean, like, a lot of the Morel Sonatina. I actually did pretty good work in the second movement. I'm getting pretty comfortable with the whole thing now. I'm not going to play that for you today. I'm going to play the first movement. I think I might have just played that, but I mean, I feel like it's better now. Here it is.
forgot the ending. And my sleeve muted the strings early. Well, I played it. Did you guys like that? I played it. We're working on it. There's some rough patches in there still. I feel like this is coming out a bit. I feel like that thing's coming out a bit easier now, which is good. That's good news. Um, but you know, there's still a lot to do with that. I played it. All right, well, I think it's time for us to do something else. So let's go do something else. Yeah, so you know, let's just jump right back into what we were doing. Oh my God. Julian Bream, A Musical Journey Through Spain, part two, an hour and 45 minute video. We haven't seen that, have we? Whoa. Well, we're not watching that in a night session, obviously. Let's go into our John Duarte. I'm sorry, John Duarte. I think that's what we agreed on. Let me check. Okay, 31 votes in, John Duarte. I love the 16% of you that did John Duat. That's really funny. Oh my god, we've like barely even scratched the surface here. Talking about Django Reinhardt up in here. La Pump. Let's get La Pumped for this one. That's some hot club style jazz right there. I'll tell you what. After the concert, Terry and I and one or two others, including old Charlie Scott, went backstage to see him. But a conversation wasn't really possible. He didn't talk much. And if he had done, it would have been in, if you like, a, a gypsy accented um, French Belgian. We're just going to drop that word here. This is a John Duarte's old episode. I'm just kidding. At that time, Terry and I, I think, had become the first two people on this planet to l listen to the recordings of Reinhardt and <clears throat> learn to play them. Wow. Before Amazing Slowdown or two. It was not easy. Um, <laughs> yeah. But we'd done it. So I picked up his guitar and played his solos <laughs> on St. Louis Blues to him with all the cheek of an 18-year-old. <laughs> uh, he didn't say anything. Yet. I've not often wondered what the astonished expression on his face meant. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. I think there's a video of uh, John Mayer and B.B. King where John John Mayer did something similar to that. This isn't worth looking up at all, but you know B.B. King. Like, he has his solos, he has his licks that he does, and he was playing with John Mayer, I guess, and uh, John Mayer just did, like, all of his licks, like, in a row, and uh, B.B. King was like, what the heck, man? Talk. He'd only talk when he played. Eventually, I suppose this would be about 1937, that sort of time, I bought a little double bass and taught myself to play it. What kind of watch is he wearing? Is that a Patek Philippe? The year was 37, maybe 38. I can always remember things, not always the year. I was asked to take my double bass to a jazz club, which was held over a shop in Manchester on Oxford Street, Reno's shop. And I was asked to take my bass. I didn't know what for at the time. But when I got up into the, the, the room, I found that I was one member of a quartet. Yeah, yeah, I could have guessed that. Was, was um, Adelaide Hall, a famous um, jazz singer who recorded... Oh man, you guys don't understand. You don't know the work that I do for you guys. A lot of you might not realize this, but, but I've been asked about this before. I, like, heavily edit my videos, and I do that on purpose because I want to make them, like, watchable. So it's like fast food, fast food content, because I feel like there's not too much of that. There's a lot of, like, when it's music content, I feel like it's always, like, super long. Uh, not hating on like any long form music content, of course, because people love that too. But you know, I like the niche that I fill. I edit out the ums and the stammerings and the silence of these people. And this guy is like, I'm watching it and I'm like, oh God, I have so much work to do. But you'll see, it'll just be this edited thing and you'll be listening to him and you won't notice any of it, but, but just know that I do that for you. Duke Ellington and two brothers. Joseph and Django, which was quite a shock. I don't think anybody spoke at all. He just played, started something, and everybody else followed. So uh, I, I did play with him for five hours. It was, um... Jesus Christ. That's a long time. ...experience. Now I Woo! West Montgomery! This album, when I was in high school, I listened to this, like, every day on the way to school. Yeah, there's some good ones in that one. Oh, that's a nostalgic album. I remember on my iPod Touch, I would flip it sideways and you could, like, scroll through everything. That would be in the Ws. I had a few of his albums. He's good. Post in the comments, West Montgomery or Joe Pass? I'm a West fan, personally. I like Joe Pass, too. West can play. I encountered the West Montgomery in the same way I encountered Reinhardt on records. I mean, they're different. Like, West is more, like, bluesy. Joe Pass is, like, bebop through and through. I mean, I love Joe Pass, too. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. You guys see that video of Joe Pass playing Donnelly? Check this out. AI is smart. But it can also AI is smart. It's smarter. It's kind of the whole thing with it right now. It's like... <laughs> up-tempo. Oh, 
Oh, they already finished the first section. That's just like a stupid Joe Pass video. There's so many like good, not stupid ones. Oh, like Joe Pass playing with Oscar Peterson. Ooh. You guys ever listen to that? Sweet Georgia Brown. You can tell I was getting bored of that video. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? We're assigning a listening right now. It's gonna be this. <laughs> it's not classical, but it's Oscar Peterson, Joe Pass, and uh, Joe Pass's bass player playing Sweet Georgia Brown live. <laughs> My God, dude, Oscar Peterson is a monster. Oh my God, I don't think anybody makes Joe Pass sweat as much as Oscar Peterson just did there. You know when Oscar established that tempo in the beginning, Joe was just like, no, <laughs> it's like 15 clicks too fast, man. Joe was sweating through some of those. Like you could tell he was dragging like crazy and Joe's fast, <laughs> he's super fast. Oscar is just insane. Yeah, piano is super lame, unless it's Oscar Peterson or Rachmaninoff, either one of those. All right, leave in my comment. What were we talking about? Scott, jazz club. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about jazz. Okay, this is boring. We'll get back to it. We've done enough, and it's time for me to go to bed. Yeah, it's 11.30. That's Cameron's bedtime. All right, well, let's go ahead and pack this thing up. Hey, well, of course, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Hey, want some guitar lessons? I know you do. Feel free to contact me, and I'll give them to you for a price. Uh, what else? Uh, got any questions about anything? I answer comment questions. Got a suggested listening. I do those too. You did one today. Go find my comment. I left a comment on that video, and if you reply to my comment, I will give you a gold star. That's how this works. And if you collect 10 gold stars, I will fly you out to my apartment. I'm just kidding. No, if you collect 10 gold stars, I'll do something special for you. Maybe I should make it higher than 10. The first person to get 10 gold stars gets a prize. Only one person person can get it. So you gotta be the first person to get 10 gold stars, and then you get a prize. And you have to also watch this video to the very end to learn that, and this is the only time I'll ever mention it. So, you know, there it is. What else we got? I guess I should talk about how you get gold stars. You get them by replying to my comments that I leave on the daily listenings, but if you happen to get super lucky and find it before I assign the listening, you get three gold stars. It's actually happened more than once. You'd be surprised. So if that happened to you, you are definitely at an advantage. But what else we got? I think that's everything. I need to go to bed. Enjoy the extended cut of the outro music, and I'll see you tomorrow.